Hi, my name is Gene Beretta, and I'm an author and illustrator of children's books. If you're not familiar with my work, please visit my website at geneberetta.com. In the meantime, today we're going to put together a few more animashes, as we've been calling them, where we take the most primary characteristics of four different animals. I generally do four, but you can do as many as you like. We take those characteristics, like an elephant's trunk or a rooster's... What do they call those? I wish I knew what they were called. The, the, they're not feathers. They come off the top of a rooster's head. If you know, email me and let me know. And we mix those characteristics of all those animals into one and make a brand new creature. And we don't even know what it's going to look like until we're actually working on it, which is the fun part. So let's get started. We're going to do two creatures today, two animashes, and each one is going to contain four different animals that we're familiar with. We're going to start the first one with the raccoon sent in by Ethan. Thank you, Ethan. I'm going to write it up here. Raccoon. Let's go with the rooster, since I mentioned rooster, from Marcus. Raccoon, rooster. And I'm trying to find animals that have very different characteristics, so when you mix them together, it looks even stranger. Uh, like uh, the gorilla by with uh, sent in by Joey. Gorilla. And uh, I like the manatee. I don't think we've done the manatee yet. From Jeffrey. Thank you. Manatee. So if you've been here before, you know that uh, we draw together. If you haven't had time to grab a pencil and paper, please rush out and get one now so you can join us. And uh, while you do that, I'll explain that you don't have to stick to exactly what I'm doing here. You can add things that I haven't put in. You can take things out that I am putting in and make your own, make your own creatures. This is just a guide. This is a way to inspire you to even work beyond uh, our time together. So if you've been with me before, you know we start with what? The pencil. Why is that? Why is that? I see some of you raising your hands. What? We? Yes, because we want to start just by just blocking in the simple shapes, and we don't want them to be too dark yet because we might want to erase some things. We're just going to block in shapes. So let's start with the body. The body, let's start with a, a big size body like the gorilla, gorilla's body. I'm just going to put not a full circle, but kind of an, almost an egg shape for the gorilla body. And while we're on that, what do we do? Let's try this. Instead of standing on feet, why don't we have this creature balanced on the long arms of a gorilla? You know how their, their arms are so long they can drag the ground? Well, let's put the long arm and the hand here. And since it's going to be kind of like this, we're going to put the fingers bent. It flattens and then the fingers come up like that. And let's do it back here. Now notice this arm is behind the body, so you're not going all the way up here. You're just going to see what's here. And this time you're going to see the thumb. The thumb is here. The thumb is hidden back here, but this time you're seeing it and the fingers come up like that. Right? So let's uh, add a little bit of the manatee. I like the manatee's face. It's almost, uh, it's going to come right off of the body here. And it's a big, heavy face like this. And he's got some wrinkles under his neck. We're going to block those in. And his nose. This is about the center of the head. And the mouth splits off almost like a walrus, walrus mouth, walrus, walrus mouth. You'll see what I'm talking about when we start inking. We're going to give it a smile. And then we're going to give it some nostrils here. And you can't even see the bottom jaw. You just see the top parts here. Here's where the nostrils are. And then 
let's add to that face some raccoon eyes. So raccoon is going to be, it's got its mask. Part of it goes behind the head. Part of it is in front of the head. Comes up in an arch like this. And that'll be dark when we finish it. And then the eyeballs will be like, like that. I'm going to also give it some raccoon ears sticking up like that. It's getting stranger, stranger and stranger. How about if we, now, since we don't have him standing on legs. Oh, so what's next? We have to add what's left is the rooster, correct? So uh, we're going to add that weird thing. I wish I could figure out what that's called. Um, but I don't have the time right now. Uh, and let's, let's make rooster legs sticking out down here, only they're too short to reach the ground. And this one's going to stick out right in front of this back ha uh, hand and arm. So you're going to see even less of this once we start inking. Okay. And uh, let's add some tail, a little bit of raccoon tail. Raccoon tail can come up like this and then it's striped. And since we have only a little bit of rooster there, I'm going to add some rooster feathers to the back like that. Now what I see, I keep looking in the monitor because sometimes when I'm drawing off to the side, I draw things a little more slanted than I like. So it's okay for now. Let's see. I might just have to straighten this out. We're going to, I always like to put a little bit of shadow underneath so it doesn't look like it's floating in the air. Time to move on. I'm going to use a purple Sharpie today. My blue one has run out of ink. So let's begin with the eyes this time. We're going to bring its eye mask up here. And remember, the center is right about here because we're looking at it not straight on, but more three quarter view. Notice how if this is the center line. When I turn like this, the center line is here. You're seeing more of this part of the forehead than we're seeing this part of the forehead. So there's the center line. Right? So we're going to get a little bit less of the mask. And let's leave that alone for a second before I put the pupils in. Let's continue this line down. There's a nostril sticking out of the manatee mouth. And like I said, it's a little more like the walrus mouth here. Comes up in a smile. I like to give these animashes smiles for you guys. Because uh, I think, like I mentioned, this is their birthday. They're being created today. They're being born today. So it's a happy birthday to all of these creatures. Da, da, da. And then uh, some big wrinkles right underneath the chin. They're very happy to be alive and seeing the world today. And then, oh, a comb. I think these are called combs. These weird things sticking out of the rooster's head. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's coming back to me now. Some raccoon ear. It's a little sharper. Raccoon ear. Now I'm going to put in a pupil here, and then a little bit of the eye, a little bit of pupil here. The reason I'm making that white part of the eye is because we're going to darken this. And we don't want to, all this darkness to blend into this circle, you, you wouldn't see it anymore. So we're surrounding the pupil with the whites of the eye. All right? Makes sense? It's a strange looking animal, but it's our strange looking animal. Hey, 
hairy shoulder of the gorilla. Hairy arms come all the way down. Hairy arms. Now I'm, I'm moving a little quickly because of our limited time together, but when you do these on your own, you can take as much time as you like. There's the fingers. Cool. Let's go with the back here. We've got the gorilla body, his hairy back. I'm going to go right into the hairy raccoon tail. I'm going to stop where the feathers begin. And we have those hairy stripes on their tail. Those raccoons with their striped hairy tails. <clears throat> and then we'll bring out a few rooster feathers in the tail. And also, you'll see all this messy pencil in there. That can be erased whenever you're ready to do that. You don't even have to, but if you want to, that can be done after all of the inking is finished. All right. Let's bring the manatee. Oh, well, it's not well. I don't know where the manatee ends and the gorilla body starts. So I'm just going to keep that smooth. Although the gorilla, the front of the gorilla is more smooth. It's not as hairy, correct? Here we are with some of the feathers of the rooster leg, little knee cap there, and then the long. See the back. Toe along. You get three of these toes with the nails that stick out. <laughs> and now, remember, the the is his right side is behind the body, so you're not going to see as many feathers because some are behind the body. And then we'll bring the leg and the knee and another one of these paws with the three toes. Little nails on the end. And I think finally we just add the back arm for the gorilla. You're just going to see part of it because some of it goes behind. And here's a thumb and a finger and another finger and another finger and some shadows. You guys are going to be pros at this. If you've joined me for all of these so far, you're going to be pros at making animashes. And I hope you've been doing them on your own time as well. I think we've got it. I think we've got it. And we need a name, like always. We need to mix these up and give it a name. How about... Hmm... Mana coon mana mana rooster mana rooster cunilla mana rooster cunilla mana rooster cunilla it's complex but I think we're gonna use it so we're gonna use mana roost oops that's an N not an A man root this a man roost A coup. Sorry, it's a very long name. Man Roostakunilla. We'll call him, let's see, uh, Maddie. Maddie the Man Roostakunilla. Maddie the Moon, moon Roostakunilla. This could be like uh, Italian or Spanish. <laughs> Maddie the Moostakunilla. Manny, I can't even say it. Manny, the man, Rooster Camilla. Voila. Time for the second animal. Put this aside. We're going to look at it when we finish. Look at them all together. Let's go with this one. Let's go with the sloth that Cecilia sent in. The sloth. Let's go with the bullfrog that Justin sent in. 
We're going to move a little faster because our time is short, running short. The Elephant by Maggie. And finally, let's go with The Crocodile from Cora. I apologize if I didn't get to your requests this week. We had an awful lot of them this week. I'm happy to see a lot of you tuning in to join me on these. Okay. The Body. Wait a minute. Where's the... Uh, okay, that's that. Oh, okay. I think, I think we've got something here to work with. Let's start with, I'm going to have this one, since the sloth hangs from a tree, I'm going to put a branch across here, some leaves on the end. Is that dark enough to see? And I'm going to bring the sloth's paw and arm here. And they've got these really long nails hanging over the branch like that. And the hairy arms right here. Okay. And let's go with the bullfrog's body. Again, kind of like egg shaped, like the last one. Only this is now part of the head because the frog's head comes straight out of the body almost. There's no real neck that's distinguishable. Um, and some big bullfrog eyes. And let's give it another sloth arm hanging down like this. The long nails. Cool. Yep. And the elephant. Of course, we need some elephant ears. Right? How to do this? without elephant ears. Now notice I just drew, I've got my handy eraser here. We're going to erase that part of the arm because it's behind the ear. That works. Crocodile. Crocodile. I'm going to give it the long crocodile snout. And the mouth will be open like this. And we'll get, we'll add all those teeth when we finish. Hmm. Why don't we also add, did I get everybody in so far? We've got the sloth, the bullfrog, the elephant, and the crocodile. I'm going to give it these little tiny, at least one elephant foot with the toenails sticking out. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> got enough bullfrog. Bullfrog? Oh, like a, what's a bullfrog's leg look like when it's extended? Bullfrog leg. What do the feet look like? I have a picture here for reference. Let me check it out real quick. Bullfrog legs. They're always kind of hidden. Um, kind of like, like that kind of a foot. And do we need a tail? I think we'll give it just a little bit of an elephant's tail. Cool, we're ready to go. We'll put in the eyeballs here. Maybe give him some eyelids or her, him, her, I don't know. Um, let's see what it becomes. Move this over. Okay, we're ready. And then it's going to need a name too. I'm going to start this time with the snout, the big crocodile. Snout. If you're ever in a, a lake and you see one of these coasting along the top of the water, you want to scram. You know how they can just stick their heads up so you only see the top of that and the eyes. You want to scram. Scram, scram, scram. Teeth. And more teeth on the bottom half. And the tongue. And then, of course, the the 
bottom part, the jaw, the uh, underneath the uh, bottom. Bottom. They're not lips. Bottom jaw. I'm lost for words a lot today. I don't know why. Maybe I'm staying in too much. Maybe I'm starting to get cabin fever. All right. Here's the big bullfrog eye. And then this one is a little bit behind. So you don't see all of it, right? And then the head, top of the head is there. And give it some eyebrows and pupils. And make it even bigger. Hey, hey, hey. And let's start bringing the bullfrog's body down here. The hairy sloth arm. They're very hairy animals. And those really long, sharp nails. I guess those are necessary for all of the climbing they do for all the gripping that has to happen. Very hairy there. I'm gonna throw in the, the elephant tail while we're back here. A wispy kind of tail. While we're on the elephant, let's, now for the elephant foot, well, let's do it this way, so we don't complicate things for you. There's the elephant foot, and there's the, there are the toenails that are right on here. If that's the foot, you'll see the toenails like that if it's standing. We finish the belly here, and bring the frog leg from back here. And also, too, you notice I'm not, I don't have to draw exactly on the pencil line that I made. That was only a guide. webby foot sticking out. That is one strange animal, I have to say. Elephant ear coming off of the back of the head. Another elephant ear coming off the side here. Let's get a little bit of hair. We haven't put back that uh, wispy hair on any of animals in a while. And then we have to complete the body back there. <laughs> now you notice, you see that, like I'm looking at it, that eye is a little bit slanted only because of the way I'm drawing this. I'm going to continue the head back here and then give it a cheek over here. That helps a little bit. It's still a little slanted, but if I was drawing it, I, I would be right in front of it and you wouldn't see it so much. Now, the last part, the arm, we've got the, I'm going to draw the claws here first that are hanging over the branch because they are in front of the branch, right? So when I do draw the rest of the branch, I'm going underneath of those claws. Does that make sense? May as well do the other part of the branch here. Make some little twigs sticking up, a few little leaves. May have been chewing on eating the leaves for lunch. You never know. You can make up a story for these animals. That could have been, you know, it might be lunchtime for this, whatever we're going to call it. And then, of course, the hairy arm that drapes down here. And I think we've got our second animash. But it needs a name. Sloth, bullfrog, elephant, crocodile. How about slullif? File, slullophile, slew from sloth, o from bullfrog, f from elephant, isle from crocodile. S slow, slullophile, Sally, the slullophile. 
Let's look at what we did today, both together. We've got Maddie, the man Rusta Kunila, and Sally, the Slellophile. So, another time together, two more animashes. Hope you enjoy doing them. Again, I would love to see what you do. So if you get a moment, take a photo and email them to me through my website. Thanks again for joining me. This has been lots of fun and I hope you um, continue to find some interesting things to do during your time at home. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks everybody. Bye.